Hey, good Friday morning, everybody. It's meteorologist Brad Panovich with your Friday update and the weekend update as we look ahead to some very wet weather. If you haven't noticed and been outside right now, it's raining. For the first time in 26 consecutive days, we are finally seeing rain in Charlotte. That's the 13th longest streak on record for the Queen City. These records go back 140 years. You can see the radar view, big swath of rain moving across the area right now. So everybody's going to see some rain today. The good news, nothing severe. And this isn't particularly heavy yet, though there are some embedded heavier downpours. I'll zoom in real quickly and we'll tilt the map a little bit so you can see more. You could see uh, some of these areas up in the mountains and foothills, some heavy rain. Saw some there last night. So that's the area of concern. And I'll show you more about that in a minute. But you can see the heavy rain moving across the Charlotte area, some embedded heavier rain. It's nice because it's been falling steady to moderate. This is going to soak in and not run off right away. But this is going to saturate everything because there's more on the way. If you look back to the west, we've got an upper low, which is now becoming kind of a surface low. It's kind of a weird setup. We've got a stalled boundary to the north, and we've got boatloads of tropical moisture moving in from the south. And this whole thing is going to basically pause and stop where it is. And it's going to stall for about two or three days. So this area basically right in here, and particularly the western Carolinas, upstate of South Carolina, and northern Georgia, absolutely pummeled with some heavy rain. So let's go and show you some of the outlooks for flash flooding. You see me show this quite a bit. This is our flash flood outlook for today. Notice we're in the medium range. So the scales up here, low, medium, high, extreme, entire area under the medium threat today. That looks like a lot of rain. Tomorrow, we're in the medium threat, but then we upgrade a big chunk to the high threat. Notice the red, which is back here, includes most of the upstate and now includes the Charlotte area high risk for flash flooding. This is for excessive rainfall. And part of this is because the rain will be heavier as we go through the weekend, but also it's an accumulative effect. The rain today saturates everything. The rain tomorrow can't soak in. Then the rain on Sunday will run off as well. And just to show you what Sunday is going to look like, here's Sunday's excessive rainfall outlook. So you can see today, tomorrow, and Sunday, the threat for flooding is going to be a big concern across our area so let me go back to here real quickly and what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip over to the future cast kind of show you the broad view but then show you some of the parameters uh, going into this heavy rain so let's jump right into what we expect to happen in the future here so i'll widen it i'll zoom in just a little bit and again remember this is model guidance so the specific timing and location you can't really read too much into it but you got to look at the overall pattern so as we look at what's happening this morning we're going to have waves of heavy rain move through us so i'll go through time and there could be a lull this afternoon, and that's the thing to remember. I hate the term washout sometimes because that implies it's going to rain the entire time. I don't think that's going to happen. There will be breaks in the rain, uh, but they're going to be short. One, two, maybe three hours at the most, and then heavy rain for several hours, then a break, then heavy rain, then a break. That's the kind of pattern this is. So you can see a lull developing. But one thing to notice here, and I want this to be particularly important to the folks in the mountains and foothills and why you need to be very cautious, I want you to watch the southeastern facing slopes. Notice how the rain anchors there. Even though the rain might let up here or across the Piedmont of North and South Carolina, the rain banked up against the mountains never really comes to an end at times. So this is uh, this evening we get into a break, but watch the rain re-intensify tonight and get really heavy. And notice how it's really heavy here across the mountains and foothills an area that could absolutely get clobbered with heavy rain for the next several days. That's one area where the rain might never stop. Now notice the waves of rain across the Charlotte area. This is way overnight tonight, early tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. So Saturday you wake up, hey, there's a little lull possible in the morning, but there'll be some drizzle and mist around. But look what happens as we go through the morning, heavy rain redevelops and look at this heavy rain band in the afternoon, sits over us. Maybe a little lull, then more rain. So you kind of get the idea. Sure, there'll be breaks, but timing those out, pretty much virtually impossible unless it's a real-time situation. So I tell people, if you have outdoor plans that last more than an hour or two, you're going to get wet. If you need to get outside for a quick jog, go play basketball with the kids, make an errand, maybe dig something up, maybe even try to mow the grass, there might be a window like that sometime this weekend if you just keep an eye on the sky and if it stops raining, you could go outside and get something done in an hour or two. But long duration events like graduations, weddings, camping trips, barbecues, you're going to get wet at some point. you got to have a rain plan this week. And I'll continue to go through uh, Sunday, and you can see, I'm going to loop this a couple of times, and you can just see how this moves, wave after wave after wave of rain. I'm going to loop this several times, and the one thing I want to point out again is look in particular the southeast-facing slopes. Notice there, the rain almost never comes to an end. 
So that's the biggest area of concern. That's where that red was on our flash flood outlook. And just to show you again, some of the amounts we could see, this is a real wide view. This is the seven day rainfall forecast. And notice some of these areas across the Piedmont, six, seven inches of rain, but back into the mountains, you're approaching maybe a foot of rain. I'm gonna go in a little bit closer so we can see these areas closer. You can see around Charlotte, which is right in the middle of your screen, around six to seven inches. Greensboro area, six inches. Uh, Raleigh, about five and a half. But notice here, up against the mountains, our scales down here, when you get these lighter shades, 10 to 12 inches of rain, that's where that rain never really came to an end. So southeast facing slopes in the upstate and into North Carolina could be in this range right here at the bottom of your screen. So, you know, that gives you a real, a real good indication of just how heavy this rain could end up being in a lot of, in a lot of spots. So just please be very, very cautious if you're going to be, you know, doing anything outdoors in the mountains and foothills in particular that area is a big concern because when i look at this moisture plume this is a that precipital water you hear me talk about look at this connection it's like a fire hose it's coming across from the pacific over mexico through the gulf of mexico and wrapping right into the carolinas i'll let this loop a couple times and you see that look at that thing wrapping around our big upper low and if i look at the precipital water here compared to average this is that moisture in the atmosphere compared to average. The greens are 140 to almost 200% of our normal precip or precipital water, which is the amount of moisture in the atmosphere. So look how much, and I'll rotate this through time. You can see at times a lot of dark greens and blues showing up and the scales at the bottom. So this is in percentages. Um, right around the brown here is near normal precipital water or near normal moisture in the atmosphere. These greens and blues are, you're getting 150 to 200% of average. So almost twice the amount of moisture we typically have in the atmosphere, especially in the mountains and foothills. But then here comes the dry, dry air coming in late Tuesday into Wednesday. So it's going to end. It's just this weekend, we're absolutely being saturated with that heavy rain. So this graphic there should tell you everything you need to know, as well as these graphics right here. The flash flood threat is pretty much off the chart for the next couple of days. So please be weather aware this weekend. I'm gonna turn the model data off for a second. We'll go back uh, to the radar data. Here's your current radar. You can see the precipitation moving in. It is going to be a soggy weekend. So I can't say this enough. Please have a rain plan. If you live anywhere in the Southeast, it doesn't matter your location, doesn't matter time of day. There's a threat for rain this weekend. Yes, there will be breaks. Um, if you have something that need to get done quickly outside, errands, like I said, maybe you want to go for a run, bike ride. There will be windows like that that you, if you see it stop raining, you can go do something. But if you have anything outdoors for more than an hour or two, it's going to get wet. So just have a rain plan. This is not the pop-up, scattered, isolated, you know, summertime storm setup. This is a heavy rain event, very atypical for the summer. This is typically what we see early in the spring um, with stalled fronts and upper systems and then late in the summer into the fall as we transition back to the cool season. So kind of an abnormal setup, honestly, um, for this time of year. So we typically don't see all day on again, off again rain and temperatures only in the 70s in June. I'll keep you up to date. I'll post updates throughout the weekend, tonight, tomorrow. You can, you can count on me. Grab the WCNC Charlotte weather app for any warnings. I, I bet we're going to see a flash flood watch issued for the mountains and foothills maybe even the Piedmont at some point in the next 24 hours. And there certainly will be flood warnings at some point this weekend.